subtraction. So all we're doing here is 24 minus 27. But the thing is, you want to think about this subtraction symbol is really making that 27 negative. So what are you doing? We're actually combining a 24 with a negative 27. So which one's bigger? The 20, uh, the negative 27 is a greater magnitude, which means the the negative wins the battle. The final answer is going to be negative. This is just a subtraction problem of really 27 minus 4, which is 3, but we've got a negative 3 as a result. Another way to think about this is if we look at a number line starting at 0, we're first adding 24, so we're going to the right by 24, but then we're subtracting 27 or adding a negative 27, it means we go left by 27, so we go a little bit past the 0 mark because that would be a distance of 24 and we would end at negative three. So that's another way to think about how positives and negatives interact. Now let's look at this, eight minus negative four. Whenever you see a minus a negative, you should immediately connect and make into a plus. Minus a negative is the same as plus. This is simply eight plus four, which is 12. So our answers are negative three and 12.